Look, I'm sorry. You, you don't. I like. I, I messed up. It's my fault. I. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't think. I didn't know, and I shouldn't have second guessed you. And look, like, I'm asking, please, please take me back. Please take me back. Okay, guys. I woke up to some breaking news that Nikon purchased Red. Yeah, Nikon, the company behind all of my favorite cameras, not that I was talking shit on them, don't watch that video. Nikon is acquiring Red, the camera company behind many of Hollywood's biggest name films and exclusively what MKBHD uses and I am shook. Like, I woke up reading this and my mouth just dropped to the floor. Like, even with the Z6, Nikon was always trying to include some kind of video format or video, raw video recording in their cameras. And with the Z9 and the Z8, we saw probably the most, the closest they've come to. Like, so close that they were getting sued by Red um, regarding their patterns on how they deal with compression raw compression stuff like that so to see nikon be like no nah, dog we're good now we're gonna take you take you with us join me and i will complete your training it's huge like i just woke up and my voice is all messed up and i can't like really talk that well but damn okay nikon okay like Sony and Canon have been very aggressive in their cinema line, so much as you've seen big Hollywood movies utilize what used to be its prosumer level cameras. You had companies like Sony with the FX3 be welcomed and embraced by the cinema world, so far as seeing a full Hollywood big scale production like The Creator filmed exclusively on an FX3. And to see Nikon potentially is now to start really hopping into this ring and boxing with the best of them is quite honestly unreal to even imagine. And it just gives me as a smaller creator hope that we could potentially see something along the lines from Nikon as a prosumer cinema camera. Now reports talk about how it's still going to be independent independently ran organization however that doesn't mean nikon now doesn't have access to all of red's patents and everything in between so that doesn't mean we won't eventually see red incorporated patents and technology in a smaller body like this we've already seen iterations of this with the z8 with the z9 and a lot of people have also told me about the zf i've I want to get my hands on that to review it probably hopefully soon for this channel but it just makes me excited to know that what i asked for is potentially coming right like maybe not in the immediate future but i aggressively use my z30 as a cinema camera Whereas I use my C6 as a primary photography camera. And to know that I may finally get the best of all of this in a compact form like this in the future, maybe not near future, but in the future from Nikon, it, I'm sorry, I doubted you guys. This is what I was talking about. This is what I wanted. And holy crap, I'm excited. Leave me in the comments below how you guys feel. Are you excited about this news? Are you kind of like, yeah, whatever? Or are you already like drooling at the mouth like I am? Like, oh my God, I can't wait to like buy <laughs> all the gear. Whew. That's something cool to wake up to. I'm down. All right. I'm Joe. This has been Matsu XL. Until next time. Can't do it. Peace.